Miss Greer. You hey, look Ms. like you're ready for summer vacation. Well, it is the last week of school, so summer vacation is starting soon. So I got my sun hat, I got my sunglasses. I am ready to take a break and hang out in the sun during the summer. Do you have your water? Water? Yes, you have to stay hydrated out in the sun. Oh, I didn't think of that. Hmm. What about your sunblock? Sunblock? Uh, no, I didn't think about that either. I'm just ready to have fun. Bug spray? Oh, bug spray. You're right, Miss Jones. I don't know if I'm ready for summer break. I mean, I'm ready, but I don't know if I'm fully prepared. What else do I need for summer? You need lots of things. But maybe this is a good thing we could talk about with our students today. You're right. We could go over some summer safety tips. Yeah, let's do it. All right. We're bringing your elementary school counseling moment to you this week about summer safety tips. I'm Kimberly Jones from Nan Gray Davis Elementary. And I'm Lexi Greer from George Hall Elementary. So before we start talking about summer safety tips, maybe we should review what we did last week. Last week, we talked about our kindness challenge and the kindness bingo card. And we're so excited that so many kids participated and did so many awesome random acts of kindness. I know, I love seeing all the cool things that kids out there were doing to be extra kind, especially during this time where we're all stuck at home. So keep doing those kindness challenges. You can do it through the whole summer. That's right. And you don't have to stop. You could just be a kind person all the time. Yeah, I love that. So today, like Ms. Jones said, we're going to talk about summer safety. So let's explore how to be safe in many of our favorite summer activities. Ms. Greer, do you like to go hiking? I love going hiking. Hiking is one of my favorite activities and there's some really cool places to hike around Mobile. We have lots of really cool parks and cool trails that you can go hiking with, whether you're with your family, you can, some of them you can even bring your dogs with you. What can you wear or carry to stay safe while you're hiking? Well, it's really important to stay safe while you're hiking because you're away from home and you're not always close to other things around you. So it's important to bring some essential materials with you, like bug repellent, having some water, and if you're bringing a pet, make sure you bring extra water. I like to bring a healthy snack with me, and when I bring my dogs, I love bringing a little extra healthy snack for them too. I always have my sunscreen and my sunglasses, and I think it's really important to wear comfortable shoes and good socks. If I'm going to go hiking and I'm away from other people, I always like to bring my phone with me and on my phone I bring a map and I let somebody know where I'm going. If I'm not sure how the weather is going to be that day, I might even pack a rain jacket or some rain gear and maybe even a flashlight. One thing that's really important when you go hiking is to let a another person know where you're going. So as a kid, you need to go hiking with a trusted grown-up. But you should always let someone else know where you're going so that they can keep a lookout for you and, about, and tell them about how long you're going to be gone. Hiking is really cool and a lot of fun to do during the summer. You know what another fun activity to do is, Miss Jones? Camping. Oh, I love camping. Well, how can you be safe while you're camping in the summer? Well, of course, you want to make sure that you have plenty of food and snacks. You want to make sure that you have that bug repellent so mm -hmm. the mosquitoes don't get you. Lots of water, sunscreen and sunglasses. Um, you probably want to bring a hat to help keep you protected from the sun as well. Maybe a first aid kit, a flashlight. What else do you think you could bring, Ms. Greer? Well, whether or not you're camping at a campground, or you might even just be camping in your backyard, which is really cool. So make sure you have your tent, make sure you have something soft to sleep on, like a sleeping bag or an extra blanket. Um, if you're gonna make a campfire, make sure you do it in a campfire ring and be really safe and you're around grownups if you're doing a campfire. You know what I love to do when I go camping is make s'mores. Ooh, I love s'mores They're too. They're so good. So whether or not you're camping in your backyard or you're camping at a campground, it's important to be prepared and be safe. 
What about swimming? Oh my Do you gosh. Like to swim? This is an awesome summer activity. I know so many people and kids who love to swim. You could swim in your backyard, you can swim in a neighbor pool. Sometimes you might even go to the beach and go to the Gulf of Mexico or one of our nearby rivers or Mobile Bay. Swimming is a really cool summer activity, but it's important to stay safe. What about you, Miss Jones? Do you yes. like swimming? We have a swimming pool in my backyard, an in-ground pool, and so I always have to tell my kids to be really safe and cautious around the diving board. The kids can't go swimming unless there's an adult around because we want to make sure that all the kids stay safe. Um, you should only go when you're being supervised. If you can't swim, you probably need to wear some type of Coast Guard approved life jacket. If you're just in your own pool with your parents, you might need to wear floaties or some kind of device to keep you afloat until you learn how to swim. But it's also a good idea to get your, your parents to teach you how to swim or maybe see if you could take swimming lessons. Um, but just make sure that you drink plenty of water um, and that you keep your sunscreen on. Um, you need to reapply your sunscreen every 30 to 45 minutes or you mm -hmm. could get a really nasty, painful sunburn. How else can you stay safe while you're swimming? Well, one thing that's really important, if you go like to the beach or to the bay or a lake and you're gonna be out swimming all day is to take breaks. So like Miss Jones said, drink water and stay hydrated. It's really hot during the summertime and we can become dehydrated, meaning our bodies don't have enough fluids or liquids in them. So when I'm swimming, I might swim for 30 or 40 minutes, then I might take a break, put on some more sunscreen, eat a small snack, have some water, and just relax for a little bit before I go back into the water. That way I have enough energy and I feel hydrated and I feel ready to swim again. It's always a fun thing to do, but it's really important to stay safe. What about biking? Do you ride a bike very often? I do. I love to go biking through our neighborhood, and I even sometimes go biking on some trails that are near our house. Biking is a really cool thing to do during the summer, but it's important to stay safe. So how can you be safe while riding a bike? Well, I know that the first rule is you always have to wear your helmet. Mm -hmm. And I know keeping that chin strap really tight and snug is very important. You should also ride with a buddy or a friend from your neighborhood. Make sure your parents know where you're going and watch for cars. Make sure you always have your eye on the traffic. What else do you think about biking? Well, I have a like a bright colored like vest that I wear when I go biking. It's like a really fluorescent yellow and that way cars can see me because even if I think a car can see me and they might be slowing down, they might not be paying attention. So it's really important to pay attention to the cars that are around you. Pay attention to the traffic signals. So if it's a red light or a stop sign that you follow those rules as well. It's also important like to not have anything in your hands. So if you have a phone or a jacket or a water bottle, maybe you could put it like in a backpack and that way your hands are free and you can keep both hands on your um, steering wheel, on your bike handles. Um, it's also important if you're gonna be around lots of cars or in traffic that you learn the appropriate turn signals. So you can always Google what are the turn signals that you can make with your hands to let cars know if you're turning left or right. Always try to make eye contact with drivers. The last thing that I always think is really important but often overlooked is make sure that your shoelaces are tied tightly. You don't want your shoelace getting tied up in the pedal or in your chain or one of your spokes because then you could fall and get really hurt. What do you think, Miss Jones? Well, I know when I was a kid, I was new to bike riding and I had a very bad bike wreck and I skinned my knees really bad and my elbows and my hands. So I would recommend that if you're a new bike rider that you also wear elbow pads and knee pads and maybe wrist guards so that if you do fall down off of your bike and have a wreck that your skin is protected. Mm -hmm. But always make sure to wear your helmet. Absolutely. You know what? I have some friends who are like, oh, I don't like wearing a helmet. Like, I'm too cool. I don't want to mess up my hair. It's hot. I don't want to wear a helmet. But you know what? Even the pros wear helmets all the time. So that's a really important safety rule. We want to do a quick shout out to fellow school counselor Ashley Bartley from Counselor Station for sharing those images and slides with us. 
Now we want to talk a little bit about some summer fun activities that you can do at home. You might not be hiking or camping or swimming this summer, but there are lots of really cool things that you can do at home that are things you can do by yourself, with your family, with your brothers and sisters. What are some fun things that you like to do at home during the summer, Miss Jones? Well, the first thing I like to do is get on Pinterest <laughs> and I like to check and see what are all the cool things I can do. One thing that I'm doing with my kids is we are going to make our own sidewalk chalk because we want to draw really cool characters on the sidewalk, but we don't have black. We can't find black chalk anywhere. So we're going to make our own sidewalk chalk. I love that. For during the summer, one thing that I love to do is catch up on all the books that I haven't been able to read during the school year because I've been so busy. So I like to read a book. And sometimes I might even get a piece of paper out and sketch the characters, what I think they might look like, because often chapter books don't have pictures. So I like to sketch out what I think the characters might look like. So reading books and drawing are always fun summer activities to do. One thing that we like to do at my house is blow bubbles. Bubbles, 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 all the time, everywhere. Bubble machine, blowing bubbles, making bubbles, dyeing bubbles, <laughs> all kinds of things with bubbles. We love those around my house. We also like to make our own Play-Doh and slime. Whoa, that's so awesome. I bet your kids love that. Mm -hmm. Last year at my house, we started a garden. And so this year, I've already been planting some things and so working on the garden and every day I go out there and I water the garden and I make sure there are no weeds growing in the garden. And so that's been a really fun summer activity that we started last year that I'm going to continue this year. You know, I'm still thinking about that kindness challenge from last week and some fun summer activities that you could do at home that are also kind would be to wash your parents' car. Oh, yeah. That's fun and soapy and you can wear your swimsuit while you do it and your parents will be so pleased to have a sparkly shiny car. Mm -hmm. It's a kind thing and a fun thing at the same time. I love that. It's really important during the summer to get outside, get some fresh air, get some exercise. So something as easy as jump roping or playing tag or just laying out in the grass and looking at the cool clouds. It's always good to get outside and relax. Make sure you wear your sunscreen and don't stay out for too long, but it's always good to get some fresh air during the summer. But if it's raining outside, I have a really fun thing that you could do that keeps kids of all ages entertained, and that is to build a blanket fort. My oh, kids yeah. love that. In fact, they did it yesterday, inside and outside. They built a blanket fort inside and I'm telling you 20 blankets all around strung together I don't know how they do it but they did it and they will stay in there and play all day and it's so much fun it's like a little hideout or something like that and then outside they took sheets out there on their little playground little swing set and they made a fort outside too oh, I bet so they had lots fun. of fun fort making yesterday yeah and while you have all your sheets and blankets and pillows it'd be a good time to clean and you could even rearrange your room I used to love doing that as a kid rearranging putting my bed in a different place, maybe moving my bookshelf somewhere else, just kind of changing it up. It feels fresh and it's fun and it's also a good way to like clean your room and get it all fresh and clean ready for summer and then into the fall. So those are some really cool things that you can do at home this summer while also staying safe. Oh I just thought of one more that I want to share and that is to have a talent show. Oh, you can yeah. do that with your brothers and sisters and practice while your parents are at work and then you can show them the big show or maybe even do like a play or sing a song and share it with your whole family and let everybody have a turn to do something really cool and share their talent. That's a lot of fun. You could even give little awards for the the best um, the best talent. You know what I love that and a few weeks ago um, my parents and my sister and her family, they, we live all over. My parents are in Florida and my sister lives in Montana with her family. So we did a family Zoom and we all got on and we, my sister was having a campfire in her backyard and I was outside with our dogs and my parents were on their patio and we just shared and talked about what our plans are and how we were feeling during this time. And we got to connect because we can't see each other in person yet but it was a nice way just to connect. So that could be another fun summer activity to do is 
talk on the phone with your relatives who you don't get to see, if you can get online and do a FaceTime or a Zoom or a Skype call. Those are always really fun just to connect with family and friends that are far away. Yes, so many things you can do. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about safety because I know it's important to stay safe during doing different activities, but especially during this time where we have a global pandemic, we want to make sure that we are extra safe. So we want to make sure that we're minimizing travel outside of our home. And wear a mask when around people that are not in your household. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds with soap and water and also use hand sanitizer whenever you can. It's important not to touch your face, especially if you've been out like to the grocery store or the gas station or in your neighborhood. When you get home, wash, wash your hands, but try not to touch your face during that time. And if you have to sneeze or cough, you should do it inside of a tissue or into your elbow. Achoo! Also, clean surfaces that are touched often in your household like door handles, tables, light switches, countertops. Wipe them down with a disinfecting cleaner so that you can keep them nice and clean and germ free. Yes. Remember, we want you to stay safe. Be smart. Have fun. And we can't wait to see you. We miss you so much. And we're so excited to see you again in the fall. Take care. Have a great summer.